here is Michael Chack with the gold medal. Michael Chack has excellent credentials, including the bronze medal at this year's U.S. Championships. Peter, 21 years old, out of Brick Township, New Jersey, and he skates out of the skating club of Rockland, New York. Yes, and as I said earlier, this is a great opportunity for Michael because he's going to be getting into shape earlier than anyone so far this year and performing his program. You know, Michael Jack has something else going for him. He's got the charisma, the personality on ice that not everybody has. And I ask him, are you aware when you're on the ice that you have this extra something? I guess it's just my personality. I, I, usually on the ice for competition, I'm so focused in um, jumping that, um, you know, I try to give it all I, all I have and as much power as I can, as much um, energy as I can. And uh, when I watch it on tape, sometimes I'll be like, wow, you know, you know, I have some, you know, look like I was trying to be artistic and I wasn't even trying to be, you know, so sometimes it just works out well that way. Jack is skating with a groin injury, so he's playing it safe. He says he's going to play it safe for this competition, but this is a man who's perfecting a quadruple sal cow. So his performance contains a lot of jumps, and we should expect some big things from Michael. Thank you, Nicole. And Peter, let's go back to the fact that we said that only two men can make it to the Olympic squad this year. This is one man with a very real chance, especially if the full complement of three that we've had in other years were in effect for next year. That's for sure. However, there are only two going, and I, again, I hate to be redundant, but this is a great opportunity for him. He can show the judges that he's going to be in shape early in the year. With the technical program, the objective is to go out, skate the performance without mistakes, and Michael, and Michael was very definite about being here this early when I say, well, of course, the Olympic Festival is at this time of the year, but to get his program aiming for the Nationals in a possible spot at the Olympic Games in Norway next year, to get it going early, get himself on track, if I can rhyme, check on track for what he <laughs> hopes to do. You're absolutely right. It's mileage. Well, he is the sole man on the ice now. The warm-ups are over. The introduction is about to take place. And let's see how this bronze medalist from our own championships takes place. Keep in mind what Nicole Watson says, Watson, that he has a slight groin injury. But he's got some skating to do to overcome Nielsen, Allen, and Galindo. Michael Chack. This jump could tell the story right here. Triple Lutz, triple toe loop. Very well done. Not the triple axle jump, however, it was done so well. And a triple flip. a slip on that spin but not a big mistake not an expected one either on a spin like that Keep in mind, this is the technical or short program. No matter what happens here, everybody gets another longer let it all hang out shot tomorrow night. And they expect over 18,000, an all-time Olympic Festival figure skating record for tomorrow night's performance.
the hands on the hip. A very complete package. As expected. Great job. Now this is a skater that has combined great skating with music. Good jumps, good spins, good footwork, a very complete package. And that ever-present Michael Jack personality. Remember, he is our national championship bronze medalist. <laughs> He's got to catch Aaron Nielsen or Damon Allen or Rudy Galindo. The jump combination, triple lutz, vaulting off three times in the air and then going up into another triple jump. Strong landing. And the double axle, look at the hands on the hip. Not easy to do, that shows great control. I would have to put that performance out in front at this point. Michael, 21 years old, goes to Rockland Community College, skates at the Skate Club of Rockland, New York, and lives in Brid Brick Township, New Jersey. He is a New York, New Jersey man all the way. And the crowd, you can tell, and even Michael says, wow. Well deserved. 5-7 at the beginning, 5-7 at the end, with five sixes and fives in between. Clearly already our leader, as expected, Michael Jack, with the artistic impression yet to come. That's right, just push. Huh? But he's got to be happy with what he's seen already. And I'm sure he knew it when he came off ice. And look at this. There we go. A 5-8, three of them. That's the highest mark we've seen. 5-8, nobody's done better than that. And Michael Chack has three in an artistic impression. He's now with Nicole Watson. Michael, you came out very strong in the beginning with that triple toe loop. Not so bad for a guy with a groin injury. Well, I tried to put that behind me. I said, you know, I just wanted to go out and do the jumps that I felt confident with, and I felt very confident with the triple S, triple toe. And I said, it doesn't matter. I said, you've been skating well all week. Put it behind you and just go for it. A bronze medal at the net. Nationals, but you knew the competition going into this one was stiff. Oh, I definitely knew with uh, Aaron and Rudy, they were very close behind me at Nationals, and I wasn't really concerning myself too much with them here. It's still early, very early in the season, and I just wanted to do my job here and come out with a good performance. A great performance, Michael. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Nicole. And Mike Chack is now the leader. Aaron Nielsen is second. Damon Allen is third. More of the men's technical program to continue this evening from the Alamo Dome. Let's pause for these messages.